I want to take a quick moment today to make a video about a little lesson that I've had to learn the hard way myself. And that regards storing your long guns in your safe. Now I know a lot of people think I don't even own long guns, but I know some people know I do because I've seen on the message forums many times that the Yankee Marshal likes big black barrels. And I assume that means they know I own at least one shotgun. Now I will admit that I am more of a snubby guy myself, but occasionally it is fun to get your hands on a nice long barrel. So I do have some long guns in my safe. And the tip I want to talk to you today about is storing your guns with the straps on them. You know, with the slings, shoulder straps, etc. If you're storing your long guns in your safe, take these off. Now, if they're leather, it's better for them to be taken off and hung. It's just better for the strap. It'll last longer. It'll increase the longevity of the strap, make the strap look better. It's just better for it all around. Even if it's nylon, though, you still want to take them off and hang them up somewhere else. You don't want them on the guns while they're in the safe. The reason for that being, the main reason I've ever seen for guns being damaged in the home, long guns being damaged, is because you're moving one around or pulling one out and the strap from it, the shoulder strap or the sling from it, catches another gun and yanks two guns into each other or yanks the gun out onto the floor. They hit the lip of the safe, etc. It puts a ding in the stock, scratch on the barrel, or breaks the sights. So that's what usually causes damages to long guns in safe. It's the straps from one gun hooking on another gun when you're moving them around. So store these separately. It's not only better for the safety of the gun in the safe, but it's better for the strap too. And that one or two seconds it takes to take this on and off, the time it takes to put it back on when you need the gun to go hunting or something, that's almost nothing. You know, it's well worth that second or two to save yourself a scratched barrel, a dinged stock, or a broken sight.